school? We had off for school, uh, preschool had off on Friday for Veterans Day. Anybody know what Veterans Day means? No? You see that flag right there? The flag signifies the uh, freedom of our country. And there are, what's interesting about this is there's a, a number of stars out there. Anybody know how many stars? How many? 50. Because there's 50 states. That's right. How many know how many stripes there are on the flag? 13. Why are there 13? 13 original colonies. That's right. And so from the time that this country was formed with the colonies through the revolution where we became a country to defending ourselves through the world wars, this flag has always been in front signifying America. And that, that significance for America is that we are free. It's America's favorite four-letter word. F-R-E, free. And so because we are free, we get to do things like come to church. No one can stop us from coming to church because we are free. You are probably told by your parents and guardians that you can be whatever you want to be. Why? Because you're free. That's right. But what we find out on a day like Veterans Day is there are people that actually paid a price for that freedom. Because freedom is not free. So along the way, through all these wars and skirmishes and fights that have taken place, to keep us free, somebody has paid the price. Well, in this faith that we have called Christianity, we also have freedom. We are sinners. That's a word that you don't hear in a lot of churches because it's a bad word. It hurts people's feelings to know that we're sinners. But we have become free because somebody paid a price. We know who paid that price? Any of you? No? Jesus paid that price by dying for us on the cross, and his death paid the penalty to allow us to be free. So we get to come to a place like this and kneel and pray and interact with other believers to confess our sins so we can be free. And that's the beauty of America, but it's also the beauty of our faith. That no matter how much we have sinned, and Lord knows, this old guy in front of you has done plenty of that. But he knows how to go to God for forgiveness. And I recognize that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I acknowledge him in front of others as often as I can. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide me to stay out of my own stupidity of creating more sin. Amen. So let's pray, and then you all can go to Children's Church, or you can stay and listen to me. Who wants to do that? Yeah, Children's Church is a pretty good option. I got it. Okay. Right. Not you all. You have to stay. You've aged out. All right. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the freedom that we enjoy in our country, the United States of America. We're thankful for those who paid the price for that freedom. But even more important, we thank you for the freedom we have because Jesus was willing to pay the price for our sin. What do we say? Amen. Amen. Let's say it loud. Amen. 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 Get out. <laughs>